Sometimes things you buy at the store, just they just won't cut it. So today we're gonna solve that problem and make our own. I feel like it's a popular disclaimer nowadays to mention that this is made out of scrap wood, even though I don't know what the hell that means. Scrap wood for one person and scrap wood to me is two completely different things. But hey, this was scrap walnut in my book. It was right about this point in the project that I knew I wanted to do something a little bit out of the ordinary, which sometimes I'm pretty good at, sometimes I'm not. I decided finally that I wanted to incorporate a little bit of copper like I've done in some of the other projects like the dog bed and my dining table and whatnot. So how could I incorporate copper into a paper towel holder exactly? Well, I had this thought in my head, so I just started cutting and hoped for the best. Really the only reason I added this ring around the towel rod thing here was just a little bit of extra glue surface because having that dowel put in that hole with just a little bit of epoxy, I didn't think over time was gonna hold really well. Now, adding that ring for that little bit of eighth inch, three sixteenths, whatever of extra glue space, was that gonna help either? I don't know, but it sure sounded good at the time. And why not spend, you know, an extra hour making walnut rings without a lathe just to uh, hope for the best. I was not putting this copper pipe in there to add any sort of rigidity to the joint, but I did want to put it in there so that it didn't move and was as solid as it could be. So some good old total boat thick so came to the rescue for that because squeezing that out of the tube just a little bit at a time works just like five minute epoxy. You can just mix it up a little bit and not waste a whole bunch. And then of course it has a longer open time than regular glue does. And that stuff is strong.
This right here is the kind of crap that I run into all the time. It's me forgetting that I can't put finish on this before I glue the dang thing together. So of course I had to scrape it off. Now, of course we weren't gonna get away with a couple of half inch pieces of copper pipe barely down into the wood grain and a couple of end grain glue surfaces to try to hold this thing together. So yeah, we added a couple of screws, but you know what? Nobody's gonna see them because they're gonna be up against the wall. And of course, like 60 seconds ago, I had to redo some more finish because again, I get ahead of myself and get in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> 